Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Matt and Mike's X-Files CCG. So, kind of a unique show today. We're going to talk about, uh, well, some of the boneheaded things we've done through the years, man. Some mistakes that we've made in gameplay. Yeah. Ways that we've interpreted the rules wrong. Yeah, so, you know, stay tuned. It's just going to be about, like I said, some of the mistakes. You mean our X fails? Oh, for f***! Mark and Matt bring it back. The mid to late nineties. Mike and Matt bringing back X Files. All right, welcome back, everybody. So, yeah, let's just get into uh, the episode. We're talking about uh, mistakes that we've made today, dude. What's yeah. this? What's this about? Oh, yeah. So we got this awesome new uh, background that we built um, that we can display all of our stuff in. Um, we got rid of the couch. Well, we, we did get rid of the couch. Yeah. We needed to go. Old. <laughs> Dude, shut up. I love I mean, that, that couch. That was an old couch. Dude, it was comfy. You've had it for the beginning of time, probably. Probably. But, well, the, no, I kind of meant what's that about. Oh, well, I'm not sure exactly. We found a bunch of stuff under the couch, and this was kind of... Cards and rule books. And yeah, and this was kind of one of them. And every once in a while, I think I see it move. Yeah, it's like a robotic bunny. Yeah. I am not uh, a robot. Yeah, so uh, apparently not a robot. Um, you got a name there, thing? Don't look at me! Okay, that's oh, right. That's a little ominous. That happened. Uh, so what's your uh, what's your deal? I have lived under the couch for millennia, for years. I had nothing. But this advanced oh. rule book to pass the time. Now you have taken my home. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> so that's happening. I guess we'll just. I guess we'll just soldier forward. Yeah. Hopefully he's a fan of us. I think you suck. So anyway, we're here today and we're talking about um, mistakes that Matt and I have made in playing the game over yeah, the years. Yeah, ways we've interpreted the advanced rules that were just wrong. And and there's been a few. Uh, probably... There, well, <laughs> there's been a few. Let's see. Yeah. Um, every type of every type of card. So yeah. uh, combat, equipment, adversaries, agents, sites, bluffs, witnesses. Well, we've made just, mistakes. Well, let's just run down the list of how stupid we are then. All right. So uh, these are our X fails. Oh, dude. Stop. What? Just do the thing. <laughs> You're so, moron. combat cards. We used to play combat cards outside of combat. If I had a first aid <laughs> card, I'd just play it whenever. <laughs> I may have even let you get away with that, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, we both went with it. Yeah. <laughs> equipment. We used to discard the equipment when the agent went to the hospital. Oh, yeah, that which um, which came up uh, recently because that was a legitimate question. People were like, wait, does an agent lose the hospital? But nowhere in the rules does it say that's the case. No. Idiots. Uh, so another equipment that I I used to play, yeah, so much. And and fun fact, some guys in the tournament actually played it this way too. Was the um, alien stiletto? Yep. And if, for the longest time, I would just play it outright when my agents were in the field and just cash it in for ten. Yep. Like out, you're only supposed for, to be playing it during the rec. For God's sake, the requisition. Yeah, the requisition phase. Um, adversaries. Yeah. Uh, we used to have, and this is a big one. Oh, man. When any adversary would attack, we'd say that the active player chooses where the damage goes. So if oh, you have right. a Kresge, we're like, yeah, I'll just assign it to Kresge. Right. right? No. Seriously. Seriously, Matt. This is it's demeaning. You know? It's becoming a little frustrating, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So uh, the other thing with the adversaries, if I remember right, uh -huh. is who would... Uh, assign the damage, you right? That's what we're saying. Oh, is that what you were saying? I'm, I'm getting He's distracting us. A little I'm bit. getting distracted. Yeah, um, both of hey. us. Oh, no, you know what it was? I hey, hey, you the suck. long range combat. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know. I'm just. He's like, he's like right on our shoulder. It's like the Flintstones with that Martian. You know? Yeah, but that dude was nice. Well, kind of nice. But what I was gonna say is. Uh, with the N-A, so basically if an adversary card for long-range combat said N-A, we just interpret that 
interpreted that as you just skip it. You just skip it. And in fact, I think that actually came up in one of the tournament games. Somebody said, yeah. "Oh, so we're going into combat." We start, and I was like, "Yeah, you start with close range combat." Mm -hmm. Somebody had to point that out to me. Um, Look at me, God, dude! Somebody had to. Somebody had to point that out to me that um, that's not the case. If it's actually skipped, then it'll say long range it'll combat. Say in yeah, the it'll say it in the card. Yeah. But if it's NA, you actually still continue uh, on with that. So another one, agents. Uh, oh yeah. It was a two part. So it was the effects of the agents, and it was also the the resource tokens you get, where it gives you one resource towards a card. Oh yeah. So, the uh, Lamana effect was one, where he lets you take a card. I would play Lamana's token, uh, and I would actually take a conspiracy card from Matt. Just to get rid of it. Right, and I would use, I would pay for it from my own conspiracy pool, even though I was the active player. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Realist realistically, what you're supposed to do is uh, you just stay within your resource points. You can't touch your conspiracy points. So, um... Man, he's really messing with us. Uh, dude, it's, it's okay. It's, he's Just leave him, leave him be. He's not leaving um, us be. The other thing with agents was we used to sell agents during our conspiracy turn. We'd sell them for the full cost. It oh, be yeah. Which, it, and that's, that was another thing that came up in the tournament. And actually something that we recently learned, too, was mm -hmm. they, you can only sell them for the res point and not their... Uh, total cost, which Mike it cuts um, down on having agents. For, in your yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. God's sake! Every time, too. Yeah, and he's there. That's his. I kind of want the couch back, honestly, because he, at least with the couch, we didn't know he was there. Maybe, dude, maybe we can just get rid of him. You know, just send them off with the couch. I love you. Ha! Bluff. Right now. <sighs> okay, sights. Yeah. So uh, with sites, one way we'd play it is we'd use we'd use cards that would change the keyword, and then be like, "Oh, that's not a motive site now. That's a affiliation site." And then you couldn't go to it. And that's the difference between uh, keywords and activators. So mm -hmm. I I if an activator said that you know your requirement was you know uh, method, it doesn't matter what I would change. Cigarette smoking man, for example, it doesn't matter if I would change the keyword to motive it didn't matter because the activator was still method yeah so it didn't do a lick of difference there there are um awesome uses for that card that we found out recently uh one of one of my favorites my personal the favorite Kresge is Kresky. Yeah. yeah so use cigarette smoking man to change any card's keyword uh from whatever it is to uh i think it's uh medical well, you you actually use the thinker like when you're the active player, you use the thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, so you're but right, same right. concept. Same concept. Yeah. So you, you basically <laughs> change it to you know, uh, <laughs> healing. Thank you. This it's right. It's you're, really you're closer to it. It's uh, really distracting. Yeah, um, so sorry. you change it to healing, and then you use Kresge's token and it negates any one healing card. So that's one thing that we have done right. Yes, we came up with that ourselves. That's not in the book. <sighs> he just moans. So uh, another thing with sites, and this is a big one, if you have a site that has two options for prereq, so it it would be like, um, oh yeah, like a cult. So like let's say it'll either say you have to make an occult five plus, or an alien investigation five plus, and then you could ask whichever questions. Yeah, you have to choose which one of those during case assignment. It yeah. has to be before all the agents are at the. You don't have to sites. pick which question you're going to ask, but you do have to pick which one you're going to investigate, because that ultimately can affect what bluffs might be put into play by the opponent. Yeah, and if agents um, get taken out or something, you can't just switch and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to ask Yeah, yeah, now. exactly, exactly. Which is nice, um, you know, and a lot of this stuff has come up in the tournament. I, I keep saying, oh, this is the tournament, the tournament, the tournament. Yeah, yeah. We have learned a, a, a great deal from this. Yeah. And... If I, if I may, if you don't mind, yeah, that's yeah. just one thing that I just want to touch on with, with all this is uh, this tournament has opened a lot of eyes, um, not just Matt and I's <laughs> eyes. Ryan. God, come on, come on, man. Yeah. But there have been mistakes that 
multiple people have made. There's been oversights, there's been frustrations, there's been calls on rules that, well, looking back, there's... I, I, what I want to say, though, is this is a 25th anniversary tournament that's virtual. Yeah. I mean, it's virtual. Which one's the last time there's ever been It's that? never. It's no. never been done. And, and the only thing that I want to say that I, I hope everybody please take to heart is we truly are trying our best. Matt, myself, and Kevin especially. Um, we're really trying our best to make sure that everybody is done right by this. Uh, I know that Dave May uh, and Dave Frank have been instrumental in some of these calls. In fact, Dave May was called in for one of the games to make a ruling. Yeah, because we couldn't, we couldn't come up with an answer we felt was fair yeah. based on all the options we had for like the FAQ and stuff. Yeah. And that, that's the other thing is we're trying to catch everything. But sometimes we're gonna miss things, and we're sorry. Yeah. Like we, we are, learned from it. Yeah, we are. We are absolutely very sorry. I we we're going to do this again. I can't say when. Um, I can't say that Matt and I will be taking charge of it as much as we did <laughs> yeah, this time. You and I have never never ran a tournament. No, before. and like no, no. Kevin being there, at least yeah. we have someone who's done it before. Dave, you know? Dave Frank actually, I, I talked to him, and because uh, there was an issue that came up. And his response was, welcome to running a tournament. I was like, oh, that was awful. Thanks. Um, so, so.